29, thank you for letting me speak to this. You know, we want to, we have, Prop 30 provides funding for bringing back employees, and we have the money to do that. So we should be able to bring back everybody on the rehire list, all the PSAs, and uh, all teachers in Health and Human Services. Every one of us is <coughs> at the heart of dropout recovery, but PSAs are on the absolute front lines. They more than pay for what they cost the district because any student that we retain in school is a student who's going to stay focused on learning and stay engaged in life and hopefully be headed in the right direction. These are students who are at risk and we as a district need to do everything possible to make sure that we take every reasonable effort to reach out to anybody who is in a position where they may or may not. They're, they're on that fine line of they might make the right decision in life or they might not. And so when we have PSAs reaching out to those students, that can make the difference in their life for the rest of their life. And Prop 30 provides for funding for bringing back employees, full staffing, and so we just, looking at this list, I don't see why we can't just rehire back all the PSAs on, on the rehire list. And just um, one other thing is, what doesn't make sense to me, on, on the agenda today and in the media, there have been a lot of ideas about budget priorities and bringing back employees, a long overdue raise, given that it's been over six years, lengthening the school year, budget transparency, money on iPads, class size, subs are being sent letters denying the opportunity to work over the summer if they want to, parent trigger charter co-locations and school giveaways. We have all of these huge, huge issues and it all just gets jammed through. And I applaud Mr. Kaiser for his budget transparency motion because it all just feels so rushed and we need to slow things down and have a more engaged discussion about our budget priorities. You know, on this item, uh, I had a few parents reach out to me and they wanted me to speak on this. They couldn't be here today because they work nine to five jobs. And so that's another frustration is that we're not allowed to, if you're working a nine to five job, you can't really address the board because you're, you're working. But uh, just in terms, of, in terms of this specific issue, you know, again, we just need to do everything possible to reach every single last student in this district. I feel that we have an obligation to taxpayers to, to make that effort. So I'm urging you to look at this and 